Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Hunter from Alan Asher Photography. Back here with a little bit of a follow-up video from yesterday about a problem I ran into, especially when trying to process my Messier 94 image taken from over the weekend. And I had the problem of not being able to find my filter sets that I will use for spectrophotometric color calibration with the latest version of PixInsight. Now, currently, I am now running PixInsight build 1601 and i've seen from a couple of others that are having this problem as well that the option to add your custom filters that you made especially for different brands that are out there like for me i was trying to find the ones that i have created for the optolong l quad enhance but when going into spcc you can see it is not there. I mean, the default ones like the L Enhance, L Extreme, and L Ultimate were there, but down here at the bottom, you were able to add like the Curve Explorer and be able to add your own filters to this. It's not there anymore in this place. So I had to do a little bit of some digging and kind of a little bit of some my uh, uh, research around the internet to see if anyone happened to figure this out. And yes, luckily inside of the PixInsight forms, there is a way to add your filters back in and it's kind of like a permanent filter addition where before I kind of had to just add it in every single time I would go into PixInsight in general, but now they have made it so much easier. But before really getting into the details on how to add the filters to your PixInsight, I have to give credit where credit is due from the original maker of all these different filters and that is Jason Kuhn over on YouTube. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to his channel too. He has a nice explanation video of where to, oh, how to add your own custom filters to yourself that he may not have made himself, or even just message him. He actually will take into considerations and he's always updating this list ever so often when new filters happen to come out. So I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description and definitely to give him a like and follow because without this, this wouldn't work whatsoever. I mean, he's got a ton of different filters that he has made for, all from the Altair series, the, uh, the Antilia, got the Asgard Color Magic D1s and D2 sets. You have the Astronomic, the IDAS series from the D1, 2, and 3. You got the MBZ from IDAS as well. Of course, all the ones from Optolong, even the L Quad Enhance, some Panasonic one, the Radian Triad filter, and then there's even some other combinations down like the SV Bunny, the ZWL Dual Band filters as well. I had the liberty of downloading this as well and add my own. So I have a separate link that I will also leave down in the description that you would need to download the zip file and be able to extract into its own separate folder in itself. So going back over towards PixInsight, where to find how to add the filters now is in processes, all processes, and then down towards filter management. Now, things starting to look a little bit familiar, right? Especially with the Curve Explorer, where you're able to try and combine two filters like, say you're looking for the B sensor, and then you're looking for the L Pro, you'd be able to combine them together to make your own filter and then add it in towards your list. Well, this is gonna be even simpler. When you download the zip file, make sure to extract it into its own separate folder like I just have here on my network drive. I just named it PixInsight Filter List. And it has everything all through here of the combined default and the new ones that Jason and I have made together into this one single folder. And let me tell you, look how simple this is. All you have to do is just go to wherever the task is and merge CSV filter definitions. And when you do that, you go find where your network drive is or wherever you put your filter list. You just select the folder and you hit the apply global button. And when you do that, it will implement all of the filters right into SPCC. So now when I go into here and say if I'm looking for my Optolong L Quad Enhance, look at all the filters that were added now and it's defaulted. So there's my red L Quad, 
Zoom it back up. There's my G for green and then my blue. So that's all there too. Or if I'm shooting with a dual narrowband filter like the Ascar D1, those are already there as well. And the nice part is this will stay there even after closing PixInsight and reopening it, your filters will still be there. So it was a little bit of a change. You just kind of have to search for it when you did, but I'm hoping this video kind of makes it a little bit more easier for people to have these filters and especially if you have any other ones you want me to keep adding on to this list just shoot me a message or an email and i'll be sure to add them to the original list with any updates going further down the line or of anything that jason has down the line to be implemented in towards the filters because we all know new products show up all the time well thank you everyone i hope this video finds you well and be able to make things like this much easier for everyday pics and sight users like myself so if you like what you see if you want to see more of it leave a comment leave a like on the video it does help me motivate me to continue to make videos going forward clear skies hopefully i get to do some more imaging here soon and i will see you in the next video or if you have any more suggestions on topics to cover especially pics insight wise please let me know and i'll see you next time